Alright guys, here we are again. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this dude. We got another Apple Watch Ultra and you might be wondering, Jared, you already did a video on the Apple Watch Ultra, but today is special because I got this Apple Watch technically open box, which means it's used, which means I kind of want to see what a used Apple Watch Ultra looks like. And it was cheaper than the original one that I bought. So I returned that one, ended up getting this one. So I actually got this thing from Best Buy um, my first one I got through Apple, as most of you guys know, Best Buy didn't have them until later, but I was looking at Best Buy and I was like, oh, I was like, oh, there's an open box model. I'm going to pick that thing up. So I did. That's what I did. Oh my God. They taped this thing up. So just to give you guys proof, um, open box. Okay. Apple watch ultra GPS. The box itself, I see like a stain right here on the box. That's kind of nasty. There's a dent in the box. Um, I ended up getting the titanium case, obviously titanium case, with the Starlight Alpine Loop. And one of the reasons why is because I really thought the orange like Alpine Loop was too loud for me to use for day-to-day -day basis. And it was just too like in your face. So I kind of wanted to try something more muted. So there's two pieces of tape here. Hopefully this doesn't ruin the box, but Oh, I hate this. Okay, we're good. That one's fine. And then we're going to do this one. It's kind of gross that there was a stain on the box. I kind of don't like that. Yeah, that's pretty gross. Anyways, we're going to see what it looks like with the used Apple Watch Ultra. This is certified used. So they looked at it, make sure everything's good. And we're just going to flip these tabs open. And it looks like they, the guy, the last guy ripped these tabs. It's not that hard, dude. Come on. He ripped both these tabs. I did not do that. Here is the front of it right there. This was packaged incorrectly. This was supposed to be on the top, but it wasn't. This little booklet is so cool, I think. And oh, this little piece of paper is still in there. No really point in taking that out. But this is in pretty good condition. I'm kind of glad because I really like this little booklet that Apple Watch Ultra comes with. No st stains that I can see, really. So that seems to be in good condition. Now this band is kind of what I'm worried about because it is the Al it is the uh, Starlight Alpine band, so it's like the white version. Yo, this thing's actually disgusting. That is absolutely nasty. It has like sweat stains on it. Okay, I'm definitely taking this back. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. That is nasty. The band literally has sweat. It literally has sweat on it. It said it was in excellent condition. That is not excellent condition. That is definitely used significantly. I bet this guy actually like bought it and then re and then realized like it's gonna get dirty. Like this one especially, the Starlight version. You know the Starlight color. That's actually disappointing. Okay, the Apple Watch Ultra itself. It did not have the paper on it, which is kind of disappointing. Um, the screen itself though, let's see if there's any scratches on it. I kind of doubt it because it's this gra this glass is so strong. I don't see any scratches whatsoever on that. It's in a pretty much brand new condition. I'm not gonna lie. Obviously this thing is the most durable Apple Watch you can buy. So I wasn't really worried about that. I was mostly worried about that band. I'm not gonna lie. So the watch seems like it's in good condition. Like I said, it did not come with the wrapper on it, which is kind of unfortunate. And then the charger. This is also a braided cable, so there's cloth on this cable. So I'm kind of wondering if this cable is disgusting. And this guy just ripped it out. This guy literally, look at that. He literally just ripped it out of that box. Um, the cable seems to be in fine condition. I don't see any marks or anything on that. So that is what happens when you buy an open box Apple Watch Ultra on Best Buy. I'm gonna take this into Best Buy and get my money back because that is absolutely ridiculous. That is definitely not excellent condition. I'm actually pretty concerned about that. So, all right, so because of this issue, I decided to go to Best Buy just to see if I could do anything about this issue. And it turns out I could. So pretty much I was saying, hey, I ordered this Apple Watch Ultra and it says it's in excellent condition. It's an open box, but it says it's in excellent condition. And I was like, hey, but the, the band has like literally sweat marks on it. It's not definitely not excellent condition. And he's like, oh yeah, that's definitely not excellent condition. And so he ended up giving me a, I think $80 gift card. So I ended up keeping the watch and it just more content for me because now I'm gonna make a video on how to clean the Apple Watch Ultra Starlight Band. It works for me, $80. 
to keep the watch and I already got like a discount at a price off of it for an open box model. So I'm getting a pretty big discount on this thing even though the band was kind of dirty. We're gonna fix that. If you guys are buying an open box Apple Watch or product or whatever, make sure to see the condition, look through it thoroughly because I don't feel like, I feel like they don't even look through the box really. They just say, oh, eh, excellent condition. And then they just ship it out. So make sure to double check every single aspect of the, the item that you're receiving, if it's an open box or used item through Best Buy, just to make sure it's not damaged or you know gross, sweat marks on it or something like that, because you don't want that. Okay, so yeah guys, thank you guys for watching. That is an open box Apple Watch Ultra Alpine Loop from Best Buy. That's what it looks like, that's the experience. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Please do it. <laughs> oh my gosh.